So you know every year, every six months, uh, we see a newspaper article saying the cure for hair loss has been discovered and then when we actually look at it, it's really no cure, it's, you know, doesn't work for everybody. There's always something. But sometime last year in a third floor lab at the University of California in Irving, somebody might have actually cracked how to make or how to switch on hair growth virtually on tap. And in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what happened and what it means for you, especially if you are thinking about having a hair transplant or if you are worried about hair loss. Keep watching. So here is what we're going to cover in this presentation. We're going to look at what actually happened, facts only, none of this um, kind of um, extra stuff, just facts. And um, then we're going to move on to talking about how legit is the science or how strong is the evidence. And then the really exciting part is explaining what a scoop 3 actually is and what does it do? What does a scoop 3 do? So these two are really the, the, you know, the most exciting part of the presentation. And then we're going to finish with the most important question is when is it going to actually be available on the shelves ready to buy? So now let's have a look at um, a quick overview of exactly what happened. So let's start with um, just going through briefly what actually happened. So this happened um, in the University of California in Irvine and the research was led by uh, a chap called Professor, Professor Maxim who you can see his picture there. And what they discovered is that there are cells in the roots of our hair called dermal papillae that can switch on hair growth. So they appear to have some way of switching on growth. And when they looked into this a bit further, they discovered they were doing this by leaking or releasing a substance called Escube 3. So the dermal papillae will just leak that substance and then the hair will start to grow almost on demand, which is really, really amazing. And they were able to actually turn the growth on and off. We don't really know what triggers this process. When do they decide to turn the hair growth on? When uh, do they decide to turn it off? We have no idea. And the growth, we're not talking about thin, wispy hair. We're talking about thick, strong hair. It's worth mentioning that um, initially when they did the experiment, they noticed this in uh, the, the mouse model. So they were using mice. But then they said, okay, does this work in humans? And they tried to get some human hair to see if the same happened. And exactly the same happened. They were able to replicate the process in humans as well, which is part of the whole excitement about this Scoop 3. It's a really amazing breakthrough. So there you go. Really, really big, big breakthrough. This is no small kind of uh, page five story. This is a big breakthrough. And now I want to look at the actual science because um, science has got different levels. How legit is this sign? How strong is the scientific data from this particular trial? So is the science here legit? Obviously I wasn't in there with, you know, in the lab with them, you know, going through their figures and watching them, but there are telltale signs of when an experiment is highly legit and when it isn't. So the first sign that this particular experiment is extremely legit is that the research team is really world class. They're, they've been published many times uh, across different journals internationally and in North America. And they were able to repeat the experiment. So if the experiment just happened once, you can't really get excited about it, but they were able to repeat it and get the same results. They were able to repeat it and get the same hair growth again. So that's another sign that this is not by accident. And the research was published, uh, it's been published in a journal called Developmental Cell. And the way kind of scientific journals work is when you get published, all the other experts from, you know, Europe, North America, Asia, um, other places can actually go through your data and really examine your research under the microscope and really find, they will find if, if you cocked up somewhere, if you made a mistake or if you said something that wasn't true or wasn't backed up by the evidence, it's going to be very embarrassing for you. So the fact that they were published and everybody else accepted it, that's another sign that the data is extremely legit. And the final one is the team here in um, Irvine, in California, in the University of California, they're so confident 
about this breakthrough that they've, they've already pop, um, applied for a provisional patent. So they're so confident this is going to hit the market that they've applied for the provisional patent just so that other research teams and other companies don't jump on and steal this from them. They've protected it by applying for this patent, which is another sign that they are really excited about this. Let me take 30 seconds to tell you about what I think, what is the best way to actually turn on this Scoop 3 thing. Uh, I think it's almost certainly going to be with vitamins or herbs or a combination of both. Why? Because we have so much data that, uh, you know, zinc, uh, vitamin C, biotin, there's so many vitamins that have been shown to trigger hair growth and this must be how they're doing it they must be turning on the substance uh, scoop 3 which is why i always say you need to make if you're serious about slowing down or regrowing hair or slowing down your hair loss you need to make vitamins herbs and minerals part of your regime and of course the one i recommend the vitamin brand i recommend is fully grow and there is loads of others if you want to go and find your own one that's completely fine but you need to be taking one of course, the natural question at this stage is, when is this going to be available so that we can all, you can all run to the shops and buy it? But I think it's still a long way away because there's so many questions we need to answer first. And I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to go through some of the questions now. Uh, the first question is, how does Scoop 3 trigger hair growth? How does it do it? Because if we know how it does it, maybe we can design something similar to Scoop 3. Because Scoop 3, remember, this is something I forgot to mention. It's a natural product made in your own body. So, and we can't just go in there and kind of uh, siphon off Scoop 3. It's made, uh, it's a bit like a hormone or something like that. It's made by your body. So if we can find out how it works, we can replicate it, we can copy it. The second question is, can we make a Scoop 3 in the lab? Because as I said, it's made by your own body, but can we actually make it ourselves in the lab and store it successfully because if we can do that we are one step closer to actually producing it and selling it uh, to the public uh, the third question is will it work the same way exclusively in humans so the experiment um, that i mentioned by the university of california team was a kind of mixture of uh, experiments done on mice and humans but what happens when we apply only to humans are we going to get the same spectacular results and i think the biggest question is the last one what makes scoop 3 turn on and off what because if we if we can figure out what makes scoop 3 turn on and off that means we can turn it on and off so that means you and i or whoever needs to grow hair can decide you know next month i'm going to grow some hair because i'm going to turn on my scoop 3 so that's the really exciting part so there you go really really promising now let me give you a quick warning uh, i am very sure there are people there are scammers out there who are going to try and put scoop 3 in a bottle and label it as scoop 3 and sell it um i mean that's just a complete joke don't ever fall for that um scoop 3 is not going to be out this year next year or the year after so be very skeptical about anybody offering you to sell you scoop 3 it's just not here Imagine in a few years time if we if this scoop 3 actually becomes an actual product that has been proven that has got a marketing license What is that going to mean? That's going to mean No more hair transplants a hair transplant is just going to be a finished industry because People will just be able to regrow hair virtually on tap You just go to the shops get your scoop 3 apply it or drink it or whatever and the hair sprouts out I mean it could be the end of the industry but obviously we have lots of uh, hurdles to overcome. So watch this space. I'll keep you updated with anything new over the next few months. Take care and see you soon.